Okay, hello guys. So um, today I'm going to show you the Adobe Reader for Windows Mobile based devices. Um, it's a software that you can run to read PDF files. Pretty much the same for the um, other program I was talking about in the other video, the Pocket X PDF. But um, this one comes with a lot of customization for the toolbar and uh, the uh, stuff you'll see I'll just show you okay so I'm gonna run it by going to launch and then programs and then that's this one here Adobe Reader 2.0 so I'm going to tab on it open it takes just a few seconds to load usually this is a load screen um, and here it asks you uh, which file you want to load, so I'm just going to uh, show you a sample. Uh, I'm going to show you my score schedule here. So I'm going to open this file and load. Um, yeah. Oops. Yeah, it's like this. Um, you can navigate around this, the, the, the document by just um, dragging it. And yeah, you don't have to use the scroll bar, but if you want to, you can do that. Um, which makes the software pretty finger friendly. Um, yeah. And you, you can also ro rotate it like. 90 degrees or um, have it upright so that you can read it when you're placing your device vertically and here at the bottom this is the toolbar you can customize it um, and choose what items or what functions you want in your toolbar by going to uh, this triangle here um, and click on the options okay. so here uh, this is just the general appearance and presentation um, the background color the pen color transition pen with eraser size uh, and stuff and here, here you can see rotate device page by clockwise. Um, I've chosen negative ninety degrees, so that's why you see um, my my document was um, horizontal when I first opened it. And remember, it's your um, uh, last view when you close the program. So if you zoom in um, in your program uh, in your in your document. Um, and the next time you open it, it's gonna remain like at that size so that you don't have to adjust the, the, the size again, which is quite nice. Um, there's also the PDF slide slideshow. Uh, so you can choose how often you want to refresh um, the, the, the screen to go to the next page. Um, if you want to loop after the last page, uh, play background music, um, or always open the uh, documents in sideshow mode. Okay, so if you've changed any of the settings, you can tick the check if you want to save the settings or um, tap on the uh, um, on the X if you don't want to save any of the settings so yeah and here it's going to show you how to customize your toolbar that's this function here okay so there are a lot of um, items you can have in, in your toolbar such as open document find dynamic zoom tool rotate view back forward text select tool 
um, column select tool blah 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 um, there are dozens of those and you can just choose which ones you want according to your needs um, so yeah this is um, there'll be reader for Windows mobile device but one of the drawbacks I find for this program is that it doesn't support full screen mode like this is the most full screen mode you can you can get you can't um, take this part out the, the thing out or the um, scroll bar on the right and bottom out and the toolbar stays here uh, unlike pocket xpdf which can really have true full screen modes so yeah quite necessary for uh, small screen touch screen devices yeah and this is pretty much it thanks for watching and have a good day um, goodbye everyone